I'm, I'm Solomon Sangweme. I've been in solid ground for um, since March last year, so that will make it uh, 11 months now. A friend invited me to, to, to Middleburg and he's part of this church. And uh, on the Sunday he invited me to church and I came. So he kind of like gave me a heads up and he was like, you know, today I'm serving, I'm supposed to be there at 8, so would you mind if we go together at 8? I'm like, oh, it's, it's okay. And uh, when we got to church, because I think he didn't want the pressure of having to carry me around, he literally gave me over to, 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 to a serving team. So suddenly I was there, in, in, you know, in just a sea of people and everyone is hugging each other, they are talking nicely to each other and I'm like, what's happening in this place? Originally, I'm, I'm from Zimbabwe, so new city, new nation, but I was just with people. I was just with friends, I was with family. But after three months or so, I felt I needed to give more. And I decided to talk to Christian. This Christian is the, is the worship pastor. So he said, maybe you might need to impose yourself more in the solid ground community and serve more. I'm going to create an, an opportunity for you to serve we are creating this, this position called uh, the, the stage assistant. You know, as the stage assistant, it meant that whenever the band will be practicing, I need to be there before the band even starts practicing because I'm literally leading in the setting up of everything that needs to be, to be fixed from the batteries to the, to, to, to the mics they're going to use, to the sound desk, you know, switching on everything. And, that's when I started to appreciate and realize that it was really something important. Because for the musicians to be at peace is their ministry. Someone needed to change their battery. Someone needed to charge their battery. Somebody needed to think for them, you know. If something happens, if they are singing, somebody needed to be there to quickly, you know, fix things. So I started to pick on how to, 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 to you know, to run the sound desk. I'm, I'm still learning a lot on that but it has been amazing, an amazing experience. You know, these are things I needed to pay lots of money for, you know, just to learn the sound desk, but I'm here learning them for free. When you finally see the leaders, and I'm talking of the elders and the pastors, ministry, there are a lot of people who put hard work behind the scenes. And that's when I started to appreciate serving. Now I realized we might not all be on the stage singing, we might not be all on the stage preaching, but there are a lot of people who play very pivotal roles. These people, they are the real movers, they are the real drivers of the ministry. And when I started serving now, I started to appreciate these people. I'm like, I might not be in the forefront, I'm here in the background, and no one might never really notice what I'm doing. But, you know, I'm really serving God. I've looked at my journey, you know, serving in this church and in this ministry, and the opportunities that the leadership have opened for us to serve. Before I started saving, I had a lot of things on my head. I was worrying about my job. I started saving, I forgot about the worries. I've realized God is taking care of my stuff. I can literally say, because I can't speak for other people, but I know ever since I've started saving, I've benefited. My journey with Christ has become more personal. It's actually me who has benefited more than anything that I've ever given.